right, time to check out the latest update for H3 VRs, uh, Alpha, or Update 90. This is Alpha 4. And uh, yeah, we got some new stuff today to talk about. Um, all right, let's go with the new weapons. We get the uh, AK-12, right? Yep, the AK-12. And uh, it's a oft-requested weapon. Everyone wants it. And uh, yeah, Anton said he had it a long time ago. He had the model, but uh, he just didn't implement it yet. And now it's here. So yeah, you get a nice looking... Uh, I don't, I'm not too familiar with the history of this rifle, so um, if you excuse me for not knowing much about it, but uh, I guess I would say it's a modern AK, right? It's the most recent one. But uh, yeah. So, cool stuff. Looks pretty cool. It's probably, you know, I mean, uh, I would say it could be the companion to the, uh, like, the uh, 416. In terms of, uh, well, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> whatever, but, uh, yeah, uh, ignore that, uh, 1911 magazine there. I'll come back to that in a minute, but, uh, let's just check it out. This one's got the traditional 8K controls, little, uh, lever selector there. This should be fully automatic, but, uh, let's try it out. Pretty cool. All right, let's try a uh, AK reload. Nice little uh, P mag they got there, and uh, let me see. This is uh, oh yeah, this is an existing site for it. See a uh, red dot. That's already been in the game before, so that's nothing new. Just the new weapons. And you know what? Let's go to uh, semi-automatic. Did I not, uh, oh, I forgot the chamber. This is two, right? There we go. You gotta zero this, uh, this red dot. I was wondering why it was hitting so, uh, so low. It's usually on 15, right? So, oops. I keep forgetting you have to do that with the uh, AK style weapons. Yeah, see, it's low, so you just have to adjust this to, let's say, two meters. This is three meters, yeah. All right, cool stuff. That's the AK 12, the uh, actual from. What I've seen and read, it is the actual production model that is um, actually available nowadays, I think. Not too sure, but... And this is what Anton said is the prototype. <laughs> so you got this kind of look to it. Uh, this one, I don't think the stock extends. That is, uh, huh. Yeah, well, uh, maybe Anton will fix that later. But, uh, yeah, so this is the prototype AK-12. If you want to take a look at that. Pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, Anton really should uh, fix that later on. Make the stock extend. But, because uh, it's a little too close. Hmm. Okay. This is a lot different than uh, what I was used to. Uh, what I'm used to with the uh, usual AK pattern rifles, but uh, alright. 
So this one, uh, if I remember correctly, has four modes. Safe. This should be full auto. Oh, did I not chamber a... There we go. Oh, nope, that's semi. This is burst. And this is full auto. Not bad. Not bad at all. Can we do an AK reload? It's kind of tough on this thing. Oh, it's got a... Uh, I actually like this. It's got two uh, two sides to it, so... It two charging handles. They're little tiny, little tiny charging handles, but uh, they work. Let me just go to burst. Because I like burst fire. Elevation. All right. Can this use the PMAG? Let's uh, let's see. Yes, it can. Okay. Cool. Obviously, obviously, it's got rails on it. You can stick this uh, sight, so you can put attachments and stuff. And uh, yeah. Go back to the regular looking magazine. Pretty cool. Whoop. Let me just see something first. Uh, this will work, right? Yes, it will. All right, that is pretty cool. Stick those on there. Uh, let me clear up these empty mags. Okay, set the target. All right, so those are the AK-12s. What else did Anton add? Uh, oh yes, the new quick bolting is, uh, well, uh, sad to say, but the uh, new quick bolting is not available anymore. As you can see, I'm trying to do it right now. It's been removed, unless you have the weapon on a bipod, which a lot of the uh, a lot of the bolt actions don't have bipods. So, well, that's kind of uh, yeah. I mean, I look, I, I get it. You know, I mean, a lot of people were complaining about it. They were they were not really liking the system, which. Um, understandable you know i'm one of the minority that actually liked the old quick bolting or sorry the uh, new quick bolting uh but um yeah so you can't do that anymore with just holding it two hands the only way to actually do it and this is um <clears throat> let's go with the scout here the only way to actually do it now is To engage the bipod is should be over here somewhere there it is and yeah that's that's how you can do it you can take it off the bipod it doesn't work anymore you have to manually press the uh, touchpad which uh, there we go. I got it. Yeah, you know. Not quite uh, my favorite thing. But, I mean, you know, the quick bolting on the touchpads, the press, the quick bolting press, still works. It's just, I don't know, man. Especially the fact that like some of the some of the bolt actions uh, don't have uh, bipod attachment points. There are no rails or anything. So let's say you want to get a. Um... Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's see. Uh... Let's try the Carcano. There's no way you can put a uh, a bipod on this thing. So yeah, you know, I mean. But again, I understand, you know, a lot of people were complaining and, uh, well, majority rules, right? So 
So now you have to just uh hold on just a second. Okay. I don't know why I'm having a lot of problems with that. Let me just see if I need to calibrate my controllers, probably. Yeah, this is why I didn't really... Well, well I mean, I, I don't have any problem with the quick bolting. Hold on, wait a second. There we go. Just need to hit the right uh, spot on the uh, touchpad. I have to press it in the right spot, which... I mean, yeah, look, I get it. I, I totally understand why, why Anton did it. I mean, the, 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 the reaction to the new system was kind of like mixed to negative, right? And it's also a pretty good idea because since Anton added like the new bipods that you can attach, the whole quick bolting feature, like for example, if you want to use quick bolting, just go attach a bipod to the, where is the grip bipod? To the weapon you want. Oops, one, two, three, four. And, you know, well, well, this one doesn't have a bolt. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hold on, let me spawn an actual bolt action. Oh yeah, the uh, M40 has a attach point now, so you can put a bipod there. Oh man, I'm running out of space here. This is terrible. <laughs> but yeah, so now you can, you know... So in order to use the, the new quick bolting system, you have to utilize a bipod, which, again, like I said, is, is pretty genius. If you, if you want someone to use your new attachment, you know, have an action for that attachment. Which, uh, this is gonna be kind of hard because I gotta lean over here. And let me just uh, clear. Let's go 9999. And see if I can snipe this thing. But yeah, so, you know. Oh, it's still moving. So now you can only quick bolt with a bipod. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> oh, this needs to be adjustable. <laughs> that's, what, that's the only thing I'll tell. I'll suggest is that this needs to be adjustable so you can raise it up. And, uh, yeah. But still, I mean, I understand. I understand why you did it. Not many people like the new quick bolting system. Uh, well, you're just going to have to uh, deal with it, I guess, for um, the older bolt actions that don't have any attachment points. Or oh, well, that's a shame. But you know what? I I can't complain. It's what the people want. So what can you do, right? All right. So uh, that's the new quick bolting change that was added. Let me get rid of some of these. That rid of that. Uh oh yeah. Did I not? Yeah, this is going to be pretty hard. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Wait a minute. Am I hitting? Hold on. There we go. I mean, I mean, the only thing, like, the reason why I don't really like the old quick bolting is because you have to press on the touchpad, right? And it's just, for me, that's like more damage to your, your, your touchpads in general. And coming from a person who has actually opened up their controller to fix their touchpad, uh, yeah, you don't want to damage your touchpads because, I mean, you know, if you're pressing on it every single time, it's going gonna, it's gonna to wear out. Now, I've had that happen to me. And I have actually fixed it, but it's kind of a hassle to do so. So, yeah. But, oh. 
I mean, yeah, you still press the touch pads, you know, in during normal gameplay, but for bolt actions especially, you know, I mean, I want to use them more. They're actually pretty cool weapons, but, you know, pressing on the touch pad every time I want to chamber another round into the gun, you know, it's just, I don't really want to do that to my controllers. Because I can't get any replacements. People think, oh, I can just go buy index and uh, index controllers. I don't have two hundred dollars lying around. <laughs> It'll take me a while to save up for that. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's you know, like I said, that's that's a change that's been done. It's gonna be like that, you know. What can you do, right? All right. So the final thing that uh, Anton added uh, that he didn't show off in the video, which is a uh, Pretty, I don't know, I mean, it, it's a pretty big thing, but there are two new uh, rail attachments to uh, the customization options for your weapons. So let's grab the uh, AK-12 here, and let's check out these two new attachments. This one is the rail axis tilt forward, which is uh, a really funky looking one. I don't know, I think maybe someone in the Discord might have, like, suggested this to Anton, and he put it in. But, yeah, it's basically a rail axis tilt, but forward. So, oh, just take that, and uh, let's grab an attachment here. I don't know, let's try a bipod. So you can put a bipod like this, I think think we no well i actually don't know what this would be useful for uh maybe to um let's say they wanted to do a, a sort of like weird kind of thing I don't quite know nope that's not what you want to do that for maybe oh you, you know what Hold on. There is a... Nope. Uh, let's see. Shift? Do I need a shift? Hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean you know, more, more creative types will figure out something to do with this. It's probably to make a, the rail bend a certain way so you can attach more of them to bend even more. So you can, like, put stuff back here or something like that. I'm... It's a very confusing little uh, little thing, but I expect to see a lot of people who are really creative use these these uh, weird little funky rail axis uh, shift attachments. And then this is the other one. This is the uh, glitch gun rail extender. As now, as you can see, it's an extended uh, uh, rail, but it's got attachments on both sides. Well. Just, well, one of them is a little shorter, but, so you can, let's say, uh, oh, you can put this like this or something. No, that would be a bad idea. Actually, I don't really know what to do with this either. <laughs> this is, this is a funky little thing. Somebody with more creativity could probably figure out what, what you could do with this. But, uh, judging by the name, I think it might be so that, um, hmm. This is pretty funky. Actually, don't know where to where to put this. Yeah, maybe this is a this is not not, not the ideal weapon for uh for for this. Let's try something else. Let's go with uh, something that normally doesn't have a rail. Let's go with a um, the uh, that one has a rail. Uh, the M14. This one has a hidden rail on it, so just gonna have to. Uh, yeah, kind of like that, and then you might want to put like a foregrip on this thing, right? So you do, uh, let's see, go to attachments, rail adapter, uh, rail riser tall, and try to stick that underneath. Oh man, this is going to be very tough. Uh, maybe not that. Or, you know, I mean, you can... Hmm. 
I have no idea what you want to do this. Oh, well, no. Let's see. Uh, I wish you could attach multiple rail risers. That'd be really nice. Oh, you know what? Let's try this out. Oh, come on. You can do it. This is one of the, uh, the pains of customizing guns. Just trying to fit things where they shouldn't. Oh, come on. There we go. We got something going here. Not quite. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you were inventive enough, maybe you could, you know, stick a foregrip in this thing if you wanted to. Like, put it down or something. I don't know. It's it's a pretty funky little attachment when you look at it. The double-sided rail. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. You could do a lot of things with this if you knew what you were going to do. Let me try something here. Let me go with a uh, handgun adapter. Let me just do something. This is going to be really finicky. It... Nope, not quite. I wanted to do... Come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on, you can do it. This is going to be like five minutes of me trying to fiddle with this thing and make it accept it. Come on. No, you're not going to do it. Ah, you were there. You were so close. No, that's not quite what I wanted to do either. Maybe I should try the other side. Nope. Uh, come on. Actually. Hmm. No. Hmm, no, not quite. Yeah, I think it's just going to do the other way, right? This would be the best way. Hmm. Or, you know what? No, I don't know. It, it, again, you'd have to be really creative with this stuff. Uh, but yeah, those are two new uh, little attachments. This one, I have no idea what you could do. You could probably go... Um, I was thinking maybe with a rail axis shift. Hmm, maybe not. Double-sided? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, anyways, that you know, that's that's completely up to you. I'm gonna have to spend a lot more time with those uh, with these two new attachments. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's all of the stuff for today. Just two cool new weapons that everybody everybody's been wanting, and uh, a change to to something that again I understand completely why they did that, why Anton did that. But, uh, yeah, let me just, uh, what else can I do? <laughs> I am, uh, currently thinking about what else to do, but I think that should be about it for today. You know what? I'll play some Taken Hold. Let's do that. How much time do I got? Let me check my thing here. 23 minutes. Oh, man. Oops, wait a minute. I completely forgot. There is now an option so that only only one of your hands shows the menu. Well, I use my right hand. I was like, nope, on my left hand. <laughs> All right, let's go take and hold. All right, let's see. Uh. Fantastic meats. Let's just do Soldier Fortune Frankie. Spawn lock. I'm going to actually put the item spawner on and spawn the new uh, AK-12 so I can use it. Uh, yep, yep, everything is good. 
to custom and uh, make sure I got everything. Okay. Let's load up, take and hold, and adjust my headset here. Oops, sorry about that. Touch the microphone. I think I made it, might have moved it farther away. You can't hear me anymore. <laughs> All right. Still waiting for take and hold to load. Come on. We're almost there. It's almost there. It's waiting. Okay. Uplink successful. Target system detected. SMG rifle. The AK-12. I kind of like the prototype. Yeah, I'll go. Well, no, actually, uh, that 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 um, retractable stock not being not working is kind of my thing. So I'm gonna go with the uh, actual one. Extend a stock there. Let's grab ourselves a sight. Oh, you know what? I need to spawn some magazines first. Um, oh, I've I completely forgot. The uh, AKS-74U magazines work with this as well. So you got the uh, AK-74 drum and the uh, short magazines, plus the uh, standard uh, long mags. <clears throat> yeah, see? So, um, huh. let's put the drum magazine on this thing. Fits in the slot really nicely. Okay. Let's grab ourselves a reflex sight. Oh, wait, can we put the, uh, no, I don't think we can. Gotta test this out. Nope. I don't think so. These Soviet style uh Soviet attachment sites. Nope. Alright, that's fine. Which one should I use? Kinda like the MRS. Stick that on there. Hmm. Crosshair is really nice. I like crosshair. Should I do a suppressor as well? Let's go with a Soviet style. All right. And then... Oh! Actually, no, I don't think that would work. Under barrel. The uh, GP25. No, that doesn't seem to work, but we can go with the uh, Picatinny. Okay, stick that there, grab this. Boom. Okay. All right. Oh, I should have put a bipod on this thing. Mm, nah, that's all right. I'll do that for the uh, prototype. Uh, laser light. Should I stick a laser on this thing? Mm, nah, that's okay. I don't need no laser. But, no, 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 okay, that's all right. <laughs> I was just thinking of something. All right, I think that should be about it. Got ourselves AK-12 with a drum mag, underbarrel, GP-25. Okay. Just grab this, just in case. I don't know if I really need it, since I'm nigh invulnerable. Invul Ooh. No, that's okay. We'll just leave that there. Okay. Okay. Getting back into the groove of things here. Whoa. Dang it. 
I didn't check my corners. That was my fault. Okay. Interfacing with system node. Hold this position. Analyzing system. Kind. Oh, I completely forgot this thing has a uh, safety. Since I'm not really uh, going to look for spawned weapons, I'm just going to go straight to the uh, hold point. Oh man, where is my play space? <laughs> okay. Man, I was in the middle of reloading. Give me a break.
Still got a lot of health. Interfacing with system node. Hold this position. Analyzing system. Wait, that's right there. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Advancing to next system layer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Over here. Analyzing system. Come on. Get in. Get in. There we go. Spawns. I guess we'll just uh, take over here. Oh god, <laughs> that was terrible. Please get in. Thank you. Oh no, I'm out. Got it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, man. Five override tokens found. Arm's getting tired. Advance to next system node and take it. Oh, he hasn't seen me. Wait, hold on. Oh. Huh? Be nice if I would have, uh... I shot you in the legs. Okay. Interfacing with system node. Hold this position. Analyzing system. Did I put a, uh, whatever. Nope. 
advancing to next system layer. Analyzing system. Oh no. Some more are gonna spawn. There we go. Whoops. Ooh, smoke grenade. Somebody coming up. Warm encryption, where is it? Got it. Data extracted. Five override tokens found. Advance to next system node and take it. Oh, threw a smoke grenade. This one, come here. I need spots. Come on, where are you going to pop out of? Magazine in. <laughs> Alright, we got, uh, whoops.
Come on. <laughs> Give me the targets already. Shake off my arm here. Ooh. Just uh, all sore now. <laughs> all right, that was pretty fun. But since I was using the item spawner, that's pretty much cheating. So no scores saved, which is fine. I just want to have some fun with the new AK-12. Really cool. I like it. I kind of like it. You know, I'm not again. I'm not really into the whole AK pattern firearms thing, but. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's effective and in the hands of somebody who, who knows how to use one of these things. Yeah. These things are probably going to be pretty good. It's just, uh, I'm not used to them. So, but it's still, still pretty fun. Just take off the suppressor here. I'll throw that away. Oh. Oh, did I, uh, oh, and I put it on safe. All right. Well, I think that's about enough, uh, H3 VR for today. And I cannot see inside of my room. It's too dark. Where is the light switch? Oops. That's the air conditioner remote. Okay. Let me just, uh, yeah, that's about it for today. And I will see you guys next time.